Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm going to be forging a human head. Now, I did a video here just recently. This was forging without any sort of instruction. So I hope to take and give you guys a few key pointers here as we go along. So in the opening clip, clearly I'm upsetting the end of the bar. I'm not looking for a really large upset here. I'm just looking for the form of where the head of the thing is going to be. As you see here, I have set down the material where I've established the head now, and now I'm working on the actual eye socket portions themselves. The main thing that you want to be doing whenever you're molding something, whether it be a human head or it be an animal head or anything of that like, you need to think about just the proper volumes of materials. So like areas that you need to establish cheeks for like cheekbones, having enough material for the nose bridge, um, and then enough for the brow and the forehead and you know things like that and leaving enough room to have you know lips or a mouth cut in if you will and so that's really all that it takes to take and do forging of a human head one of the big things that i wanted to take and do with this piece is i wanted to take and try to use nothing but the anvil the best i could for all of the set down portions up to a point. So I was able to rough the entire face in doing that. And then in order to create the eye wells or where the sockets, eyeball sockets would be, I'm using just a little bit of a ball tool here that you can see locked up in the tongs. And so we finally switched to, you know, top tooling from here just because I need to be able to see the face and there's not really a good way of using the anvil for this advantage. So whenever you're driving in some you know sockets say eyeball, eyeball sockets or you're trying to create uh, facial features you're probably always going to be using a, a top tool of some sort and you want to try to aim that tooling to the core of the material. That means you don't want to take an aim to the outside edges to where you get a lot of blowout. You want to try to be forcing that material back in on itself, not drawing the material away from the center of the bar stock. So here I'm just using a little handheld set hammer to take and work various facets and planish out certain areas. And now I'm going to use it to establish the ridges of the nose to each side. The first tool I used was the ball tool, and that helped create the eye sockets and begin the ridge of the nose. So what this is doing with this square tool now is it's really taking in defining the ridge of the nose as we go straight down through here. So when making this, I was really just wanting to take and fool around. I really didn't think about trying to create an entire tutorial around this. Otherwise, I would have done a better job of bringing the camera in where you guys could have seen most of the facial features being formed uh, as they go, um, like the cutting into the mouth here and uh, cutting that jaw in. I would have done that if I had thought about it in that way, but this was just plainly for me and I figured you know what I'll go ahead and set up a camera up and uh, maybe there'll be some sort of interest in this it's a neat enough project I'll just set a camera up and let it roll so that's what I did here just to kind of help prove that you can do a lot of things at the anvil again this is me proving this again this would be a lot easier if I just had a vice if I were to just go over to my vice and do it there but you guys have seen that before. This is me driving in the nostrils. And I'm just showing how, you know, you can just still do things right at the anvil. You don't necessarily need a vise for these type projects 
or like a V block or anything like that locked in the vise and you can still make figures of this sort. And I would say this is a fairly advanced level project to do all at the anvil as where it would be mm, kind of an intermediate process if you had the vise set up and you know a animal head block or something like that a V block set up in the vise this really is not that bad of a process at all. So yeah, so now I'm just giving it a little bit of a clean up. Kind of just planishing off any hammer marks on the top of the head. And there you have it. It's just a little face. Thank you all for watching, and as always, God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one.